I want to read and provide my commentary on this article by ABC News titled, Former Trump Health Advisor Believes Current COVID Response is Falling Behind. Because surprisingly, I largely agree with a lot of what Dr. Burks said here in this interview. So first, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention signaled it expects to have updated COVID vaccines available by mid-September. They keep saying this, but I do not believe it because the FDA, still to my knowledge, has not approved the vaccines. And once approval happens, it should take approximately three weeks from that time to make them available. And this interview is with Dr. Deborah Burks, who served as the White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator under former President Donald Trump. Bear with me, she makes good points. The first point I agree with is that Dr. Burks believes that the vaccine that's coming out next month is coming weeks too late and is arguing that seasonal booster shots should be made much more quickly. The reason I believe this is because the XBB 1.5 is what the vaccine is targeted towards, which is largely out of circulation and has many offspring or subvariants of the XBB 1.5. So it's very likely that this vaccine will provide very good uh, protection for these subvariants, or at least moderate protection for them. But we're less confident with these ones, and then even less confident with the new uh, Pyrola strain or variant that's out right now. But again, that variant is still emerging. Uh, it is just one of interest. It has not reached the level of concern. And a good argument that Dr. Burks makes is that when we're recommending a fall vaccination, we're ignoring the fact that every year since 2020, we have had a summer wave. And like I just showed on the CDC page, because there's been so much additional mutation of the virus, we already have significant escape mutants or escape variants out there. So it most likely isn't going to be well matched for when our immunity really kicks in once we receive the booster in the winter wave. And again, if pyrola becomes a really big one, our vaccine is not well matched for that whatsoever. And the whole point of doing this mRNA technology was to be able to switch it out very rapidly to meet needs before they become a problem. So right now, they should be making the vaccine available uh, to this new variant, the BA 2.86 or whatever it is, so that it is ready in uh, four to six months time so that we can really combat the tail end of that winter wave and have a vaccine that is well matched for it. And the thing that I picked up on and that also Dr. Burke seems to have picked up on as well is that this summer wave and each summer wave seems to be coming about two weeks later each year. So for this year, we should expect that in late December and early January, we will be having that uh, winter wave, which is why besides getting this, new, this current vaccine out, we need to be developing the next one already. Because as we know, immune protection from either prior infection or the vaccine is short-lived and in some cases, it could be as short as four weeks. In other cases, it may be three to six months. But this immunity, this active immunity wanes, which is why we need to keep refreshing it with new boosters. And like I and others have been saying, using hospitalizations as your metric is a huge mistake because by the time you're seeing hospitalizations in your area, the virus has been circulating for four to six weeks. This is why we need to invest in wastewater testing. Because four to six weeks ago, I had already been like, hey, we're entering a wave. And other people have been like, hey, we're entering a, the start of a surge. Sorry, surge, not wave. We're entering the wave now. And that's because we were looking at wastewater. That is our early indicator, early warning system. And finally, the big one, she says, Dr. Berg says, I think we wanted to make it like the flu because that was easier, but it's never going to be like the flu. It stays with us between the waves. We have a summer wave. We have a winter wave. It makes people much sicker than the flu. Many more people die from it than the flu. And by the way, flu does not have this level of long COVID. You don't have long flu. And these long side effects that we see with COVID. So let's just all agree it's not the flu. It will never be the flu. So using these measures where we're following it and surveying for it like we do with the flu will never be adequate in this country. So what the federal government really needs to do right now, and I agree with this, is that we need, they need to lay out a plan that says we're not done with COVID, COVID's not done with us, and we've got to do a better job in 2023 to 2024, and this is part of us doing our better job. And then there's more stuff down in the article that I don't agree with. We're not advocating for masks and stuff like that. But yeah, I thought it was a really good... Um, blunt review of our current reality.